The Times of Israel is an Israeli-based online newspaper launched in 2012. It was co-founded by journalist David Horovitz, who is also the founding editor, and U.S. hedge fund manager Seth Klarman. The online English website covers "...developments in Israel, the Middle East and around the Jewish world," according to the site's nameplate. It also covers news related to the American Jewish community. The website also publishes Arabic, French and Persian editions. In addition to publishing news reports and analysis, the website hosts a multi author blog platform. In February 2014, two years after its launch, The Times of Israel claimed a readership of 2 million. In 2017, readership increased to 3.5 million unique monthly users. History The Times of Israel was launched in February 2012. Its co-founders are David Horovitz, formerly the editor-in-chief of the Jerusalem Post and the Jerusalem Report, and a veteran journalist who has covered the Middle East and the Arab-Israeli peace process for 30 years, and Seth Klarman, founder of the Bopost Group and chairman of the David Project. Klarman has no role in the site's editorial operation. Several Times of Israel editors had previously worked for the Haaretz English edition, including Joshua Davidovich and Raphael Aron, and Haaretz Arab Affairs correspondent Avi Isaacaroff joined as Middle East analyst. The Times of Israel launched its Arabic edition, edited by Suha Halifa, on 4 February 2014, its French edition, edited by Stephanie Bitton, on 25 February 2014, and its Persian edition, edited by Avi Davidi, on the 7th of October 2015, both the Arabic and French editions combine translations of English content with original material in their respective languages, and also host a blog platform. In announcing the Arabic edition, Horovitz suggested, the Times of Israel may have created the first Arabic blog platform that draw s articles from across the spectrum of opinion. We're inviting those of our Arabic readers with something of value that they want to say to blog on our pages, respecting the parameters of legitimate debate, joining our marketplace of ideas, in order to avoid the kind of anonymous comments that can reduce discussion to toxic lows. Comments on news articles and features in all of the site's editions can only be posted by readers identified through their Facebook profiles or equivalent. In February 2014, two years after its launch, The Times of Israel claimed a readership of 2 million. In 2017, readership increased to 3.5 million. Since 2016, The Times of Israel has hosted the websites of Jewish newspapers in several countries. In March 2016, The Times of Israel began hosting New York's The Jewish Week. It also hosts Britain's Jewish News, the New Jersey Jewish Standard, the Atlanta Jewish Times, and the Jewish Chronicle of Pittsburgh. On the 2nd of November 2017, hackers in Turkey took down the website of the Times of Israel for three hours, replacing the homepage with anti-Israel propaganda. Responding to the attack, David Horovitz said, "We constantly work to improve security on the site, which is subjected to relentless attacks by hackers." How unfortunate, and how badly it reflects on them that the hackers seek to prevent people from reading responsible, independent journalism on Israel, the Middle East and the Jewish world. <laughs> <laughs> Editorial orientation According to co-founder David Horovitz, the Times of Israel is intended to be independent and not have any political leanings. The paper's editorial board is composed of Sharon Ashley, a former editor of the Jerusalem Report, Erwin Kotler, a former Canadian justice minister, Ephraim Halevi, a former director of the Mossad, Saul Singer, the author of Startup Nation, and Ehud Yari, a senior Israeli journalist and political commentator. Yehuda Avner, a former Israeli ambassador and advisor to several Israeli prime ministers, was a member of the editorial board until his death in March 2015. We are independent, we're not attached or affiliated with any political party. The Times of Israel is an independent, fair-minded journalistic venture, and I think it's incredibly important to give people a sense of the options that Israel faces and create an informed and constructive debate. <laughs> <laughs> Coverage issues A series of investigative articles, starting with a March 2016 piece by Simona Weinglass entitled, The Wolves of Tel Aviv, Israel's Vast, Amoral Binary Options Scam Exposed, 
helped shed light on the multi-billion dollar global scam in Israel. As a direct result of the Times of Israel's investigative reporting on the fraud, the Israeli parliament, the Knesset, unanimously passed a law on 23 October 2017, to ban Israel's binary options industry. The law gives all binary options firms in Israel three months since the law was passed to cease operations. After that, anyone involved in binary options is punishable with up to two years in jail. In a Times of Israel blog, Israeli Knesset member Karine el Herrer of Yesh Atid credited the paper for bringing the issue to the attention of Israeli lawmakers. Over the past year, the Times of Israel shone a spotlight on Israel's ugly binary options industry. It was a case of investigative journalism at its best, and the Times of Israel should be proud of its journalists and editors. Notable writers Analysts and journalists Academics, bloggers, and public figures Competition The Times of Israel competes for readership with the Jerusalem Post, Eretz Shiva, Haaretz, Israel Hayam and The Forward. See also Media of Israel <laughs>